We just lost power. Babe, no. Don't leave me. So apparently this is what happens when your mom doesn't get any sleep. She freaking oversleeps. Sorry, kiddos. I'm gonna take you to school. Um. Uh, yeah, did y'all not, um, I can give you like a cereal bar and a banana. Do you want something like that? Yeah. Okay. And, because I know you missed. Yeah. I'm sure the sky looks like it's falling. It's so dry and gray over here. I have to stop and get gas before taking the kids to school. Okay. How are you feeling today? Good, good. How are you? I'm okay. No YouTube yet? Um, no. i am got to take my kids to school. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? You're welcome. My boo skins going to school. I was so tired. I went to bed. I just need like a whole 24 hours to catch up on sleep and then like, yeah. But <laughs> my little kid lips. I love my babies. I'm gonna um so the store is literally right across the street from their school. How convenient is that? And that is where I will be headed right after I drop them off to go get a whole bunch y'all know they're they're charging like all that money for water so i'm about to go stock up on nothing but water because i already know like it's stressful out here my baby never wants me to weave her malik be like bye ma i'll see you later i love you ma have a good day Rick will be like bye mom oh wait i forgot a hug oh wait mama you forgot to kiss me oh wait mama um can you breathe on my face that's my child. She is so attached to her mama. She does not want to let me go. I love it though. That's my only baby girl. I get so much joy just thinking about them. Like, it's my babies. So let's go shopping to make sure. See Kroger right there? I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Y'all stay safe because I'm worried about like everybody right now. So please stay safe wherever you are. Help somebody if they're in need. You see somebody struggling, they need this is not the time to be stingy. Not the time to be, you know, hating on one one another. Uplift each other. Help each other. Now see, look at this. $2.99. $2.99 for water. I wish I can just take all of this and help y'all, man. <sighs> water shouldn't be $45 a fucking 24 or 32 pack. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any freaking sense. All right, guys. So if I'm not clear about what I am doing and what I am picking up, because of this storm, we're very close to it. I kind of want to restock on things before the town gets hit pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is just pick up like some things that like possibly if we lose power, there's no refrigeration, um, obviously. So just things that like a hot plate could fix or a candle or just things like that. Things that we know that we can keep cool ourselves. So obviously um, we will drink milk regardless. I did get some milk. And then there's also some milk that is like shelf wise. Um, it's really good. It's called Dream that it doesn't need to be refrigerated. and. We used to drink that as well. Um, I am going to pick up things like soft tacos, like these little taco shells. Like these are only a dollar and thirty-nine. All right, guys, back at the house. What time is it? Ten nineteen. Ten nineteen right now, and I have to go put this stuff up right now and get this stuff together. And um, yeah, then I'm gonna relax. I have to go put up a video. So I didn't put up one yesterday and I know y'all were like, where are you at? So I am, um, I have to go in the house and do that for a couple hours. So guys, I uploaded a video this morning and I've just been like doing nothing but comments since I gotten back to the house, um, answering nothing but you guys' comments left and right. Now I'm just watching videos. Daddy just woke up. Caden's right there in front of our door playing, waiting on his siblings to come home. And Mama is playing in the room. Um, he's got to go to work tonight, and I'm about to go make some black bean burgers with some lettuce and tomato, a little bit of cheese, and um, some hash browns. We're going to mix it up and do like a little Waffle House style dinner, burger, and some hash browns. It's 
going to be delicious. So stick around for that if you are interested to see our dinner. Huh? We got about a good hour before the kids come home from school. So I'm going to try to finish working it out just a little bit. You want to eat macaroni cheese? Uh-huh. When don't you? Uh-huh. You always want to eat macaroni. There's other cool things to eat in this world besides macaroni and cheese, I promise. You want a black bean burger? Uh-huh. Will you eat it? A burger. You want a burger? Uh, happy meal. You want a happy meal? Uh-huh. Oh, I don't even know. See, these YouTube videos, we don't even buy Happy Meals. So the fact that he knows that word. <laughs> he's like, it's like, where do you get that from? Happy Meal. Oh, what a happy. We've never buy the kids Happy Meals because I'm always cooking. I don't, we don't eat out like that. So where would, where'd you even hear that from? Yeah, I know my favorite part about the kids being gone at school. Because I don't have to wear pants. <laughs> I'd be looking like it's time for the kids like I literally don't have on any pants right now and I don't wear pants as soon as they leave the door I'm like the last one leaves I take them off and I'm like because I hate clothes so I can't walk around my house like that because my kids are too big so yeah I love it and I'm still gonna be pantsless for the next nine minutes until it's four o'clock and I hear the bus okay that's how bad it is but I'm about to get started on um, dinner because, like I said, we don't have that much time. And I usually get started around this time anyway, so that way my kids can eat. Uh, I'm very scheduled. I'm a very detailed scheduled mama, okay? I am. I have to be. So, my babies come home from school. They get started on their homework. One jumps in the shower. Another one jumps in the tub, depending on how close or if they have homework or whatever. But we must get clean. As soon as you walk in the house, you're washing your hands because germs, the bus, kids, touching seats, touching things, put it in their face, come in. My daughter likes to keep her hands in her mouth 24-7. So, please, let's not touch and put germs out. And she stays with wingworms all the time. So, please keep your hands out of your mouth. So, yes, I am that mama. Wash your hands. Let's get clean clothes on our bodies. Let's get in pajamas, sit comfortable. Um, dinner will be ready like at like 5, 5.30ish, or f before that. And they'll eat, and they'll go upstairs, have some good time after they're done with their schoolwork, and just play and chill out and relax. We brush our teeth, we read books, we go to bed, we play, we fly, everybody's happy, ah! All right, let's get ready to cook. He's uh, over here having a little, little light snack. Literally light. See? Light. It's an oven bake. Um, you know, we eat the healthy stuff over here. I put on pants. Or shorts. Time to cook. Right there, guys. Amazing. Okay, Kaden. <laughs> oh man, I am being a savage over here. Look at this, Brooklyn. Do you see that? That looks, I already took a bite, but I put hash browns on top. Oh my God, I changed the game with that. I didn't change the game with this sandwich right here. This is amazing. Just changed the whole game on y'all. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. What? Get some facts out y'all face. What? 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 Mm. What? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all tell I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Here's how I made the sandwich. 
black bean burger, a little cheese added to it, lettuce, mushroom, tomato, hash browns, topped it off. I haven't even been vlogging at all, like, today, period, and I miss you guys, but I just wanted to come on because this hurricane is driving me crazy. I can't stop watching it. Yes. I don't like hurricanes. I don't like them either, honey. Not at all. Hey, Mama, no. Don't pull that down. This is, like, really incredible. Like, I cannot believe this is really happening right now. And I don't know if you guys know, but we are in its path as well. And it is... Oh, my goodness. It's, it's, that's why I've been keeping up with it the most. Because, obviously, you don't want to be in its way. Guys, Miami is not even... Um, the tornado is not even here. You can see Miami, like, already flooding the streets are flooding already yeah we're all in here i know it's like what do i do when there's a hurricane i make brownies guess what time it is right now 9 44 p.m yeah and i have some pistachio ice cream that's been melting all right, so I just gave everybody a cup with a little bit of brownie because I already know that's mine. I already know that they're going to keep me up and go crazy, but that's what I want anyway because I would like to sleep in a little bit. That would be awesome. I never do stuff like this, so cool mom points, right? At least I hope so. <sighs> See, I need a common ground. I need to find out because this is what's happening. Let me show you. It's 12.50 right now. 12.50 a.m. Okay. Honey will be home maybe within the next hour. Um, I haven't even had a chance to actually write comments on what you guys have wrote to me. But I made sure to go watch your videos. Like, immediately. And I'm still not done. And I've been doing this since 7 o'clock. So, burnt out mama. I'm just trying to figure out like what works best or what, what's a um, great way so I don't feel so burnt out at the end of the night. And I haven't even edited a vlog for you guys tomorrow so there's like no video right now because I'm too busy trying to check in and see what you guys are doing. So I have to figure out like, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, I have to figure out like what works best because as you can see this is what's happening. I have about seven sheets of messages to go through, and it's just a lot, guys. Oh my goodness. And then I have to watch every video as well, so just just bear with me, okay? I have to figure out a great way, but yes, this is just from today. Just from today. So, I just want you guys to understand and see <laughs> that I am looking at them. I see all your messages. I see it all. So, um, I'm going to have to figure out something. What's up and how is everybody doing right now? I am just pacing back and forth in my house because this hurricane is driving me insane. You can ask my kids. I have been on it all day, every day, every since it started because I need to know what's happening. And we are being affected by this hurricane. Guys, I'm going to see what's happening. I haven't left my house Look at this. I, I'm getting an alert as I'm talking to you guys. It says that the schools will be closed Monday. No school Monday. I just got an alert. It says all schools will be closed. So, no school tomorrow. Party it up. Hey, no. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta go. Guys, so we are here at the Dollar Tree. We're gonna pick up some stuff. I got the squad with me. Mari's at home with Daddy because he's still sleeping. So we're gonna come in here and try to get some stuff like flashlights or whatever they have left because I'm pretty sure that they're probably all out because we waited to the last minute. I am thinking they are all out of flashlights because I don't see any. Like, I don't see any. All I see is light bulbs and this type of stuff. And even on this side, like where it would be at, I don't see it over here either, so 
I think this is not going to be a good idea. We are leaving right now, but obviously we couldn't find much of anything. They came and hit us hard, so we don't have it. Yeah, the other way. So they didn't have much of anything, so we are going to uh, go to the next door. They didn't even have water here, and I knew that that was going to happen, so. Fuck. I'm, like, really stressed out right now. Uh, you guys, you guys, you guys. So, uh, um, as you can see, look at this. I have a whole... You see how much this is? $5.49. I've never paid that much for a pack of water, ever. So I had to get, like, that's all they had left. Okay, baby. That's all they had left, so I picked up four. I'm thinking about getting one more. I am not sure if I should or not, but I'm not sure if we need one more or not. But this is tw it's going to be $25 alone in water. This is probably, it feels like $300, but I could be totally over-exaggerating. Oh, this is just so much stuff, and I'm just trying to figure out exactly what we all need and the things that doesn't take, you know, like a freaking stove or microwave to cook it so i don't really know you guys can see we are completely done we didn't have any um couldn't find any freaking flashlights so i'm gonna go through my garage real quick and see if i can find what we didn't have i remember when we were moving i saw a few flashlights this goes to the big joint, but we gotta find the bottom of it. Okay, most of that stuff is gonna be over here in this vicinity of things. How about here? This is the big one. So what what kind of batteries does that take though? The super big joints. Hopefully if it does go out, we won't be out for too long. But the way they're talking about it, it's like it's weeks. Like, oh, you need to, you know. Yeah, I know. That's why I didn't buy a lot of refrigerated items. And I figure as much as we drink milk, the milk will be gone regardless. Like, they'll eat a whole day of just milk, cereal. Mama can drink a whole container by himself. The, these have protein in it. It's the Quest Bar uh, cinnamon roll. Never tried it, but it has 20 grams of protein. And as you know, we are vegetarian, vegan, so I try to find a lot of snacks with protein in it. Um, let's go out here into the refrigerator. Oh, look at this. Wait, here it is. The Pringles and all of our water that we were able to buy at the store. Thank goodness. But... Yeah, I'm glad I got us at least some. So in here, we just have some fruit and <clears throat> just some milk. I didn't want to buy a lot of refrigerated stuff just in case the power goes out because we're going to lose everything. So didn't want to do that. And then in here, we just have like some bread, uh, you know, freezing in here, some stuff, some meals and whatever else that wouldn't be a big deal if it did go out. You know, so yeah, just trying to prepare it the best way that we know how. Next, I have to go upstairs and try to find the, um, I have to try to find the, um, the flashlights because the store was all out of flashlights and we actually did find like our biggest one, but like the little ones that little Miss Brooklyn had at the old house, I have to try to find those and before I did check, but that water will come back. You guys are getting ready to have lunch right now. Uh. Everything that we have going on in this world, why the fuck am I seeing looting right now? Is that the only thing that you guys can do with your time? I mean, your fucking parents didn't teach you any goddamn better. So when there's a fucking nasty, nasty disaster going on in our world, this is what you guys do. Go and loot. Now what's really ticking me off about it is the fact that obviously it was black people. And you already know that we already have a fucking bad name anyway. A bad rep or oh, whatever. It was the black people. And it was fucking all black teenagers. And I'm thinking to myself like, 
Just like the guy in Katrina who was like stealing fucking 50 inch flat screen TVs. There's fucking water everywhere. I understand it's going to go away. What, you're going to try to make a profit of it or you're just keeping it for yourself. But you got to think about something. Everything that you do, it catches up to you. Y'all dumbasses was straight up in the fucking store with nothing on your face. Just walking through the store. Just people are filming you. You're just bold. I hope jail time is worth a fucking pair of Jordans. I hope that you are really thinking about your life. Like, hmm. I am sitting in jail over a pair of bullshit ass fucking shoes that don't mean shit. If that is not a wake up call, honey, please, by all means, continue to do you. But I could not sit with that on my heart. I just could not. That is some bullshit. When people are down, you're not supposed to fucking kick them further. Or I don't care if it's a business or a fucking store. We're all people. We're all fucking trying to survive. But the first thing you do, instead of going to help somebody, is how can I, how can I benefit? How can I fucking selfish just fucking bullshit this shit pisses me off i don't get it i just don't understand maybe i was just cut from a different fucking cloth i don't understand like who has the mindset that says hey you know what <clears throat> this is just a great come up right now you don't have any type of like heart I'm going to pray. That's all I can continue to do is pray. And Lord, I mean, I ain't no fucking high, mighty, uppity. I'm not like that at all. But at the end of the day, I know right from wrong. And I would never, like, I would, I would are you kidding me? I wouldn't even want to be sit, call, slipping nowhere on some bullshit like that. You want to put me in jail over some fucking, fucking shoes that the maker doesn't even know exist? Get your life together, boo. Get your life. Today is the day that Irma passes over our house. So I'm going to show you guys what. Um, not like over our house, like directly, but we are in the, the eye is not over our house, but we are in the, uh, we are being affected. I never have shoes by the front door, like never. But I wanted to kind of show you guys um, what it looks like right now. Uh, all the wind is blowing on my door. The wind is blowing like crazy. You can kind of see like it's really cold, cold, cold rain. And it's just, oh man, I'm shutting this door. Yeah, no, thank you. That wind is going bananas right now. I'm good on that. And it's only going to get stronger. Um, the trees behind my house have been going like really crazy. By the way, it's like one... What is it, like 140? Yeah, 142. And, um, yeah, I am just ready for this shit to be over with because we will know if we will have power or not. So many people lost power so far, and I am terrified that we are going to also be one of those people. So, and they're talking about they don't know how long it's going to take for it to turn back on. It could be weeks or a week or a few days to a week or whatever. And I'm like, yo, oh my goodness. So sending you to work. The fuck? Look at this weather. I have to do work here. You finna get blown away. The wind is gonna pick you up. Better eat a few breadsticks. <laughs> I'll hold you down, bro. Put some weight on your bones. <clears throat> this is crazy, man. We just lost power, babe. No, don't leave me. Don't leave me. We don't have power, y'all. What the am I gonna do? Stopping that no we don't have power. Now I gotta get up for real and go find I was editing and everything. But I was just about to go heat up the bread stand. Now, now, now y'all getting sandwiches for dinner. Nothing. We can't make anything. It's all out. No, baby. We're powering up. Nothing. 
Oh, oh my god, all the food in the refrigerator and freezer. Yep, I told you. It's all going away. Every last bit of it. We're out. Power just went out. Damn, son. All that fucking food we just bought. I didn't buy any any freezer and refrigerator stuff on purpose, though. Like, I just bought a few milks, but, oh, like, man. stuff, like, I bought bread. But, Lord, no. Already, though? Like, come on, man. Do we get a discount? Yeah, that was fast. I, I'm like, for, that was, it, we, it, she ain't even here yet. This is just her, like, priest crap. And you finna go to work in this, man? Come on, man. Oh, and now my stomach really growling.